What a beautiful building this is. Just imagine standing there on those balconies of the fantastic apartments that you're in, looking out over the most stunning countryside. What's magical about this place is you're just one hour away from London by train, 20 minutes away from the coastline where there's the most spectacular sailing. And when it comes to things to do and places to see, it really doesn't get any better. You've got the Polo Gold Cup at Cowdery. You've got the glamour and the champagne drinking and the heritage of Goodwood nearby. This really is a fantastic place to live. And this is the old dining room. And it's already a really beautiful space with this lovely curved vaulted ceiling. An amazing pair of features around the edge. But it's just been a bit left, a bit abandoned. And it needs a bit of TLC. But when this is transformed, this is going to become a kind of grand living room, a communal living room for everyone that's in this building. All of these are going to be opened up at a high level. Beautiful natural light coming into the space. And then out here, you'll have the most stunning gardens. And this incredible space used to be the kitchen. The space that had to work unbelievably hard to provide all the food for the people that stayed in this building. And what a space it is. Just going right up to that pitch ceiling with a fantastic skylight above. I mean, imagine when this is turned into an apartment to live in. Incredible, really. You're not just living in a piece of history, but you're living in a beautiful architectural space. I'd love to live in something like this. One of the biggest problems with this building is that when you've got long corridors like this, where so many additions have been added to the outside of the corridor, it's stopped any natural light getting into the space. So it feels really dark and gloomy. But what an opportunity because city and country are gonna take down those additions, reinstate it back to its original condition, put panels of glass all the way down the length of this corridor and flood it with natural light. This is the original reading room, a really beautiful space, very high ceilings, beautiful windows. I mean, that bare window looking out over the gardens to the south, really lovely. And you've got some great period features still in place. All of this timber panelling is by Hales in London. And it goes all the way around for the low timber panelling around the space. When this is restored, it's going to be another communal living room for all the people that live in the building to just come into here with a book, a glass of champagne, to just relax. What's going to be so wonderful about this project is that when it's all done, the majority of the apartments on this side have got these wonderful balconies and you can just step out from inside space to outside space and see that view of the South Downs National Park. The gardens and all the landscaping in this estate are so important. They were originally designed by the acclaimed landscape designer Gertrude Jekyll. And city and country have got their hands on the original plans and going to reinstate the gardens as much as possible. And what's wonderful about all the planting here is that they were, they were chosen because of their kind of medical, therapeutic, calming and relaxing qualities. I couldn't imagine a better garden.